Rolling. All right, so just saw Jimmy James coming through the hall. He slept at the airport last night. But yeah, I came from Georgia, stopped in Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. And then I'm here. Yeah, man. And I barely slept, but I'm, I'm good. You look gay, I'm good for not sleeping. All right, my day got a little better so far. That helped with the rough start. Cheers, so you guys are going yeah. to Houston. right now. Landed in Houston very late last night. It was horrific. We had a nine or ten hour delay. Been at the airport since 6 a.m. Got here, you know, 11.30 or something like that. It was crazy. So we're tired, but we made it here. We're gonna check out this amazing 1952 Fender Telecaster. I am excited. As you know, I love old Telecasters. They're, you know, probably my favorite guitar out there. And uh, this one has all of the grime and just as honest as it gets. We're gonna dig into the history of it. First, let's go take a look. I love the white piano, man. This is beautiful, Rocky. Oh yeah, we love it here. I mean, it's, this is, every day I wake up, it feels like I'm on vacation. This is it. So let me just put it on the piano bench here. You wanna open it up and do the honors? Yeah, man. To you. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Gosh, look at that patina on that thing. Wow. Talk about vibe. It's 1952. Mm -hmm. Looks like you found a replacement part for yeah, this. I couldn't find an original. I'll probably so. try to track one down. And so when I first got pictures of this, it was missing this here, which is hard to find, but we've got a couple sources and these pop up every once in a while, but you know, a little repro on here, but you can tell the difference between these two, this one being original. The four, five, seven, nine. Wow, gosh. I love the weight on this thing too, man. You Beautiful. Play it. Yeah, let's plug it in. guitar which I'm so excited to it has an amazing story but today we're gonna go try to find some barbecue and get ready for the big day tomorrow okay the trip is getting good went and met up with Rocky and checked out the guitar for the first time it's insane it's so cool he was cool enough to drop us off at some barbecue uh, there's a lot of options out here but we are starving this is the this is the closest place on the map that he said would do us justice so we're here at a Red River barbecue we're gonna start eating Now we're just kind of along for the ride and happy that we made it. So we're at a little boardwalk carnival right now. We're just gonna trip around and kind of take the day in. Finally just woke up. I needed that. We've been exhausted and uh, Ken talked me into doing a roller coaster and uh, wow, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, so we're about to meet Jim for the first time. We met his fiance last night at a really cool saloon when we got into town. So he's gonna be here in a second, gonna meet him for the first time, get some good food, chat music, Houston, Texas, all things concerned. queso is that it's got to be thick enough to coat a chip but it still needs to be thin enough that you got to worry about dripping it on your shirt that's the perfect queso consistency and i'm about to launch this chip on the audio so here we go my name is jim salter and we are at the original ninfas on navigation down here in houston texas the mama ninfa lorenzo was the namesake i founded it back in 1973 
and Mama Nifa pretty much created fajitas as we know them today. The Lorenzo family actually sold the, the business several years ago. However, that family has started a new chain of restaurants, I guess you might say, here in Houston called El Tiempo. And I read recently that they're actually about to open up a location right next to where we are. So there will be the original Nifas and what is now owned by the, the original family. I play guitar, I sing, I can play harmonica, I throw a kazoo on there every once in a while. I can play bass if I absolutely have to. I can play one drum at a time. As you probably know already, Texas has a pretty rich musical history. There's a lot of pretty well-known people that are from here. Like Buddy Holly, for example, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Mark Chestnut, George Strait from Texas, Willie Nelson, of course, Waylon Jennings, guys like that. You got spots like White Oak Music Hall, Fitzgerald until it closed, unfortunately. Fitz was uh, a staple here in Houston for decades. And there's, there's a couple of cool spots that have popped up recently, like there's a, a chain called The Rustic. They've got two locations here in Houston. They're both really awesome rooms to play. And then of course, you know, the, the big amphitheaters. Everybody wants to play the rodeo, right? When I think Texas food, top three in no particular order, got to be Tex-Mex, barbecue, and chili. My go-to barbecue spot is typically my house. I stay here in Houston because I love it here. It's a great place to live. There's a ton of great culture here, a ton of great food, a ton of great local music and cool local venues that you can go to. Why leave? The best fajitas I've ever had in my life. Tex-Mex introduced in the most beautiful way. Man, I so appreciate you coming through, dude. It's been yeah, awesome man. to meet you, man. Yeah, it's been great yeah, hanging out. Yeah. I'm glad you guys asked me to come join you. <laughs> we'll be back, man. How you doing, brother? Good, good, good. Excited. You guys have a decent day? Yeah, we did. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Nice to meet you. How beautiful. Sure, I designed for, uh, this is my boat. Cool. It's a, a solstice. And we actually won our uh, division. Uh, we race from here to Corpus Christi. Oh, wow. Uh, every year it's called the Harvest Moon Regatta. And, and we won anyway, so I got you guys. Oh, no way. Yeah, sure. Dude, okay, really? I got a bunch of Thank them. you, man. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I, hope, I hope large will work. I got some extra large if that's No, man. I probably gained a couple pounds on this trip, so. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Rocky. Yeah, you Appreciate bet. it. You bet. All right, let's go do some sailing. Cool, Mason, man. I'm leave you here, okay? We're going to have a great day on the water. Hope you actually get some sailing. That'd be nice. <laughs> How long you have this boat? I've had this one uh, three years, three yeah, and a half so years. Yeah, so it's not your first sailboat? or this No, is it's not my first one. The other one we had was quite a bit smaller. Actually, it's about that size. Yeah, and it doesn't take very big movements, uh, but if you can just kind of try and keep that in the wind, and then I will pull it. So if it's going left, if the needle's going left, I turn yeah, it Yeah, you turn it right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a sharp turn, but... <laughs> Here you go, Captain. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> Cheers, man. So my name is David Cathcart. I go by Rocky. I've always been interested in guitar. I started playing as a little kid. Jazz has always been kind of my interest, jazz and blues. I never was much of a rocker, except for when, you know, when I played for money, that's, you know, you had to do that, that in country. You know, my wife will disagree with me on this, but I was playing pretty regularly and trying to make money during, at, you know, at night and then working during the day for my dad. She basically said, I, you know, I don't think this is going to work <laughs> for us. I'm not sure you're going to be a rock and roll star, so maybe you should consider another career path. <laughs> so I went to medical school. It's something I'd always wanted to do, but I still play, and I, I love to play. My dad's name was David Cathcart also. Dad was a tent evangelist in the early days, so he and my mom and my uncle they formed what they called the Texas Trio. This was like a, a, a religious party. They would pitch these big tents, almost like a circus tent. They would bring in truckloads of cedar wood chips and put that on the floor. 
I was playing in that wood chip pile and I got a piece of sawdust or something in my eye. I was screaming, crying. I remember dad, uh, you know, he got it out for me, then he scolded me for, you know, being in the wood chip pile. I shouldn't, shouldn't be doing that. And then they would set up, you know, several hundred chairs, you know, depending on the community they were in and how many people they expected. And they had some sort of a stage that they did. Dad was the preacher, so he kind of led things. And my mom uh, played accordion and piano. She said that she raised me in uh, leopard skin diapers in a baby basket underneath the piano. <laughs> Family friend named Jimmy Deskin played the stand-up bass. And then my uncle, Rod, played the guitar. Back in those days, uh, nobody had any money, except for my Uncle John, who sometimes traveled with him. He also was a preacher. So he bought this guitar in 1952, possibly 1953, in New York City. And I think he told me that he paid $100 for it and the premier suitcase amp. I don't have that, I wish I had that. But for the Texas Trio, it was primarily my uncle, Rod, that played it. This is actually one of my favorite pictures. This is Jimmy Deskin, the family friend who played the, the double bass. My dad, they're holding me. It looks like I was about a few months old there. <laughs> my uncle Rod and my mother and then my uncle John, uh, who actually bought the guitar initially for my dad. Rod, he eventually gave it back to my dad and then dad had it until he died, basically kept it under the bed. And as a kid, I remember I'd always find the guitar under the bed and pull it out and play it because I, I loved it. It was fun. So I've, you know, for me, this has been my guitar since I was a little kid, even though it really wasn't, yeah. When <laughs> I was a little kid and we were learning cursive handwriting in school, I pulled the ashtray off and started writing, practicing writing my name inside here. I, I have no idea what possessed me to do that. I'm not even sure that dad ever knew that I did that, but uh, I did it, that it's still there. <laughs> uh, I was probably eight or 10 when I wrote this. I'm 67 now, so it's been a while. <laughs> I love this guitar, but I don't play it regularly. It hangs on a wall in my music room and I don't give this the kind of attention that it deserves. It's got a rich history, you know, with our family. But my daughter is an acoustic roots kind of a person. She doesn't play this, you know, this style of guitar. So I finally decided that, you know, it's, I, I wanted it to go to a new home. So I'm gonna split the money with my two kids, particularly my daughter who is starting her first solo album with her new group called Kristen Hamilton and the Heat and my other brother who lives up in Montana who's also a preacher. The first thing that always comes to mind when I look at this guitar is I, I remember the music, I remember my childhood, uh, I remember uh, dad playing this guitar. Uh, the fact that it just hangs there and is not really played regularly bothers me. So I just felt like, uh, you know, the best thing that could happen is for this guitar to go in the hands of someone who would love to play it because it's a wonderful playing guitar. So when your plane was delayed, and it was delayed, as I recall, three or four times with you deplaning at least twice, by the time uh, you got here, it was way too late. The next day, I had a dinner meeting that I had to take, so we couldn't meet last night. And this was really the first night that we could meet, at which happens to be uh, my dad's birthday. So, yeah, so he would have been, uh, I think, 93. Yeah, sorry, get, get a little emotional about it. Yeah, so pretty cool. Pretty cool that it happened today. And you brought him a birthday cake. I can't wait to light the candles and blow the candles out. <laughs> and sing happy birthday to him. <laughs> Darling, you You send me Darling, you You send me I know, I know you You send me Honest, you do The green egg. I love seeing these in action. Ever grill your lemons? It's great. <laughs> or 
there's a bunch of things I've learned that lately that you can grill that I've never thought about before. One is avocados. Avocados grilled are amazing. us and guys like us. Yeah. Damn few left. Zegum zekum, zekum zekum. Oi, oi, oi. The lemons, they're still on the grill. You guys still didn't get to taste. Hey, when life gives you grill. lemons. Yeah, yeah. you make <laughs> rum sidecars. <laughs> oh, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dad. David. David. David, Dad. <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. And, and many, many more. more. Okay, everybody blow it out. One, Woo! two, three.